Whoops, I should probably unmute myself. Awkward pauses. Okay. I'm hoping that this... Plays okay. Let me swap this around. Aha! Just let me know if uh, sound is, is goofy or anything like that. Well, hello again, Riddy Text. Awkward pause. Riddy pause. Your last room, I know, it was so long ago. Okay, so I was looking here. No way. No way. Is this a, a werewolf? Is it a werewolf? The open window looks over the wooden planks outside. Yeah, where he was dead. Oh, and on one side, a part of the curtain has been ripped off. This is the creepiest office up. I don't know what's in that jar, and I wish it wasn't in there. I'm gonna stop looking at it now. Okay. This is the creep. Oh, nope. I wonder how Mandy and the others are doing. Which one is Mandy? Oh, that's it. Seventy four. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> you saw Remington last night, but had you met him before? Did you know him? I've never really spoken with him, but we've come into contact a few times. Vincent likes to handle that kind of work, and I like to let him. What do you think of this place? The tourist attraction, I mean. I can't say I like the idea of a natural area like this becoming commercialized. I know! I just can't understand why anyone would even try. I think Mr. Remington had his reasons. It's okay, Riddy. Really. like a man with a couple of secrets. Like what? I have no idea. If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. Hmm. What is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Yes. Whoops. Back. Mm-hmm. That's great. I'm sorry I have not seen that before. Yeah, never ignore the Riddy. I suppose you've met with our murder victim, Richard Remington. Yes, I've been in and out of this place for a while now. Naturally, I've crossed paths with Remington a number of times. Good value, that one. A real reconteur, you know. You liked him? So far, I'm getting the impression he wasn't the most popular guy around here. Well, that much is clear, isn't it? The man obviously slipped up somewhere, made an enemy or two, and bam, that's that. You just can't be too careful, can you? Yeah, I think he did have an enemy or two. Or three. But you liked him. I respected him. Good head on his shoulders. Good business sense, that man. He understood how to make things work for him. All right. You won't be getting very far discussing that with me. Try someone less important. 
I forgot he says that. If you want an autograph, a plain sheet of paper will suffice, thank you. I don't really have time. Okay. We're gonna keep making our I think I'm gonna make one more round. I don't think it's a window. This side of the museum. And that museum, which make is it? I'm gonna make my rounds again and talk to everybody about all the new hmm. stuff. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Oh, some ridiculous new merchandise for tourists to waste their paperwork so well. No. I believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Remington. If they were trying to scare him out of the swamp, they should have spent more time making an accurate design. And what do you mean? Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid. I'm sorry, sir, you were the most important guy I could find. It seems to have been researched properly. And what's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. No footprint has ever been recorded. So tell me, Special Agent Folder. How would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to, it's just that, but there's no way anyone would believe nothing but foolishness. Nothing but foolishness. What can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one, but look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefits. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. Huh. Yeah, he's he's got a neck beard. For show. If I cared about that person, I would know everything I need to know already. My door closed on its own. Yes, I know him. He occasionally asks me about the history and biology of the swamp creature. I explain to him what the real Boggy looks like and how they changed his appearance for the cartoon character. Why did he ask about that? Because some people are naturally curious. <laughs> you should give it a try sometime. You should give it a try sometime? Next time, only show me something if it's important. Let's make that a rule. This person is of no interest to me whatsoever. This is just a piece of junk they sell to tourists. It has no resemblance to the real creature. Okay. You're wasting your precious... I've never seen that... I have no... In You're wasting... I've never seen... It's fine. I'm just making sure that all of my... So, I wonder who else knows about it. What? Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. You're wasting your precious time, detective. I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. Okay. Those good old bog dogs. Oh, it's the little what girl. Clear here? I can see my not bad. Why can't I talk to her? Oh, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? Need a little push in the right direction? I'm getting a new idea. It involves ignoring you. No need to push me, but the direction would help. You're the one who needs a little push. No need to push me, but the direction would help. Like it or not, I'm here to help you. I get it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. Want me to be impressed? 
Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned. And I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you Check mean? the map, Goof. I had a hard time believing there could be a place like this here in the dark corner of the swamp. It didn't make sense. And it still doesn't. Some things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? The mud? The water? The trees? Nope. They've been here for years, and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's gone again. Hiding in a bush, no doubt. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. <coughs> I found these designs for a boggy costume. Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft and sew my own clothes? No, but that's a good reason that go with that well these the creepy little like girl they should have stayed where they were in the trash on paper oh uh, how come whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing you would have done it differently of course i am a seamstress there was a time when i considered sewing my craft my livelihood really when richard remington arrived in the swamp years ago I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. You've been here so long, you must have crossed paths with Remington a few times. What did you think of him? That man was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. Hopefully the curtain will fall on his little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. What are you talking about? In my time here, I've seen the swamp invaded by men. By hunters. Mm. Several times. They're relentless. What were they hunting? Wait, what about Boggy? Is that why no one has seen him in 60 years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now, but some men have no respect for laws, of any kind. They tried to get me to leave my home here. I stood my ground. She's giving me Obviously. a lot of info. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy Spawn with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction. You should ask someone else. Show it to someone who doesn't live in a tree. I'm not even sure who that is. If you bring me something with liquid on it, I might be able to help you. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot about all this stuff that's wet. Let's see. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the and tap the. F More green. And now we just have to match the. Got it. Now I know. I'll wipe it down. Mm. This was the exact same liquid. You can put that away. I can't help you with it. No, thank you. If you bring me something with liquid on it, I might be able to help you. Let's see. First thing we do, then tap the... F and now, we just have... I'm just making a whole bunch of green things, right? Got it. Now I know. Uh, why did that's the point? That was definitely the same as the other tests. Okay. I 
would recognize some of those men. Unfortunately, they've hunted in the swamp before. Before it became a protected area? Before that, yes. And one of them after that. You can put that away. I can't help you with it. No, thank you. Let's see. First thing we do, then tap the phone. And now, we just... It, w am I supposed to find anything that's not green? Got it. Like, what's the now point I of even? The There's something about that okay. green slime. Fireplace broker, found at the crime scene, and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. Are you green, Terror? I've been looking into the history of this place. Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. You must be confused. You found me today when you barged into my house. Remember? We were already living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. The sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What else do you need? There's a page missing from the journal. I think you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what, that I stole it? I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. You stole it from him. Oh, why'd it freeze? It doesn't belong in the museum. It belongs here with me. Knew it. You understand? What if I promise I'll return it after I finish clearing up this mess? Then I'll show it to you. Is this you? He drew you into his journal? It's beautiful. Sixty years ago, yes. He left the page with me. We agreed the rest of the world would manage without. I think there's something on the back. What's this? Footprints. Ah, uh, boggy footprints. He drew me into his journal. I was 20 years old. That's the end of the story. I bet it's not. Does this explorer have a name? Yes. Are you going to tell me? No. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, I went the wrong way. Hello, Nicole. Rest. Mm. You said you knew Remington? He and I knew each other for a long time. 
I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days, when he needed help. Well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here, so I was happy to oblige. You might like it, but I still don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. I don't presume to know what they all were. How are you today, Nicole? It's good to see you. He had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Secrets? Hobbies? A secret hobby? He was a man with a dream. I can tell you that much. 91%! Holy cow! I don't know very much about them. Oh, uh, hi, Graham! Aggressively lurking. You could also nicely lurk, but if you want to aggressively lurk, that's fine too. He's here a lot. I think he's been I'm doing okay as well. Into his protest recently, which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Moocher. Sure. Business is going, and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. <laughs> there you go. Look at that! You don't know everything, I'm afraid. That's Mr. Remington's old hunting rifle. He usually keeps it around. For whatever reason, he was very fond of that thing. Looks like it was fired recently. Looks like it was That's fired recently? From Mr. Remington's curtains. It's Mr. Remington's fireplace poker. His slime on the handle. It's familiar for some reason. One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but his men travel the world seeking mysterious animals to hunt. They consider myths and legends to be the ultimate prey. Hmm. I can't help you with that one. Sorry. Ah! Moocher, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Nicole. That was so sweet of you. Why don't you show that to someone else? I hope you enjoy your, um, emote, Nicole. You don't know everything, I'm afraid. So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like preoccupied. Preoccupied? And like he was thinking about something else? Something that wasn't this choice attraction? Who can say? What do old men think about? What? 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 I, are you implying that I know ah! the answer to that? Hello, all, hello everybody from Shannon's channel. I hope you're doing well. Oh my gosh, Brandon! Hi! Brandon, it's so great to see you. I hope you've been doing well. Hello to all the raiders. Hello, Shannon. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, T Tomas. How are you? It's great to see everybody. Thank you so much. We're reading in here. Well, that's fun. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protest used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. And what's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something. So I how are you guys doing? Okay, there must be something. Echo spends less time holding 
The protest side. This is not the Nancy Drew. This is Detective search. Grimoire. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's Are we raiding? I don't know what's going on. I looked at Tree Frog. Hello, hi, Ken. It's great to. Uh... Oh my gosh! Tomas, 12 months! I guess I should also announce this kappa. <laughs> Thank you so much for a whole year's worth of subscription. That is incredible. But hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Can. It's great to, to meet you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, like I said, this is Detective Grimoire. Um, it's a little point-and-click um, uh, mystery game that's been really, really fun. I love the voice acting. There's a lot of wit to it. There are frog noises. I'm in a swamp. Whole year. That's insane. Okay, so we got all that. I have no idea what that is. Where are you keeping all Is that one of your clues? I have no idea. Okay. No licking. There's just so many of you here. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in this swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, you know, I don't have proof someone else took them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Besides, look at them. What do you notice? You're too fat to wear these? <laughs> They're loose and stretched. They're loose and stretched. That's right, someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in the body costume, and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. Yeah, I'll have to follow you too, Shannon. Yeah, I think Tomas was my first sub. He was also, like, my first follower when I first started streaming over two years ago. Um, Tomas was my first follower and then my first sub. He's the OG. He is. He's the OG everything. I always thought it was weird that his feet are in that little bucket all the time. It's just part of the character, I guess. I'm surprised they don't sell some sort of boggy foot soaker. Boggy foot soaker. That would be the one product I'd consider buying. Yeah, um, I started watching you, Brandon, in April of 2016. And I think you were streaming even before that. Um, cause I didn't catch your stream until you were playing Deadly Device. Tom thinks he's all thugged up today. We're all getting old, Brandon. <laughs> oh, I keep- I keep getting mixed around in here. Okay, please eat, yes. I'm not going to talk to her because she's weird. You're not too old, Heartless. Uh -huh. So what did Mr. Remington think of you? I mean, Yes, please do, Brandon. It'd be awesome. It wasn't his swamp. 
If he ever truly thought it was, he was even more of a fool than he seemed. But he didn't like you hanging around, right? That man was exceptionally skilled at ignoring me. Ignoring anything he didn't like. So, what? He just left you alone? He expected me to get bored and go home. He figured I'd get sick of this place and he'd have it back to himself. But he didn't want it to himself, did he? Yes, Brandon, he yes. Come visit all the time, surely. Hmm, I'm sure it says that in the brochure. Yes. Show it to somebody. No thanks, my friend. Why are you carrying that around with you? I have a suspicion it may have been the murder weapon. Really? I thought Remington was attacked by something with claws, wasn't he? Um, did they did they announce a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3? I know that they were expecting that to be done today. Where is this taking place? Omitting the accent, it looks very Celtic. I don't know. Um, it's nondescript. It's just a... They just say it's a swamp. Hmm. What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think it was some kind there of... There was a lot of things. Don't lose that picture. And January 29th, 2019. So we're getting Kingdom Hearts 3 before we get mid. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no idea. I heard you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time I'm at 99% uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask. I'm touched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone Yeah, I know I know it's been a long wait. Heartless so, room. You admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. <laughs> If you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo was hidden away in his tent. Notebook time. I have a silly nickname. I mean, they said uh, spring of 2019 for Midnight in Salem. Oh, hello to Mr. P. Let's do... You've been hiding in your tent from the tax man. <laughs> Why not? Did I do it wrong? I heard you've been spending less time protesting and more time, uh... In. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask. I'm touched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. <laughs> If you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why notebook time. You've been in your tent hiding from Boggy. <laughs> why not? And more time. And I <laughs> Let's work out why notebook time. If he says why not for all of these, I'm going to be upset. You've been hiding in your tent because the swamp is haunted. <laughs> why not? And no, I, I, is it literally none of these? No. <laughs> notebook time. 
You've been in your tent because it's been raining. Okay, so none of these. I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. The beginning of the end. Here we go. Where is Officer James? Oh, he's back at the... The rain does make sense. Ah! Ah, you finally returned. Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? I didn't find him. What? You're not getting paid to wander about aimlessly, Grimoire. Get back out there! I don't need to. Final chapter. Boggy's criminal record. Why not? I thought he was our prime suspect. Mm, well, uh, not anymore. Rainy ghosts are Don't you find photographic evidence of Boggy from last night? Let me see that photo. That is this. If that's not Boggy, what is it? I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Well, nearly all of them. There's still the one that... What the footprints at the scene of the crime? How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? What's this? I thought there were no records of a footprint anywhere. No public records. The footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page. They were just a product of these slippers. A part of the costume. But Grimoire, this costume, it doesn't have claws of any kind. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's chest? With the poker. The prongs match up with the wounds perfectly. The handle is even covered in slime, see? Ah. This you should then, Tomas. Swamp was one of the reasons Boggy became a suspect in the first place. Surely this only incriminates the creature further. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But that slime, it's not exactly what you think. This stuff is an uncanny resemblance to the so-called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What is that exactly? A poisoned hot dog. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply, just to make sure. To make sure of what? To make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his Welcome office. back, Shannon. Remington went back to his office? Alone? Ah, <laughs> terror. Wait, this says final chapter, but the last one said final chapter. So this is the final, final chapter? The murder? I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out. The video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk me through them? Just rearrange the descriptions on the left to match the sounds on the right. Drag them around and keep swapping until you're happy with the order. And if you want to hear the sounds again, you can tap on them. Double final chapter hype hype. No problem. Don't be sorry. I can always check my case file if I want to go over my notes. Okay, so this is... Culprit opens Remington's office door. Whoa. Remington cries out in shock as Boggy appears. Hunti fires his hunting rifle at the culprit. Culprit grabs the metal poker and stabs Remington. Cries out in shock and falls backwards. Rips off some curtain fabric. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. This, these need to switch. Culprit opens Remington's often store. Remington cries out in shock as Boggy appears. Whoa. Remington fires his hunting rifle at the culprit. Culprit drops the metal poker in the office. Remington tr cries out in shock and falls backwards. Oh. Remington rips off some curtain fabric as he falls. Oh, wait, no, this makes sense. It makes more sense that he gets I think stabbed. That's it. Oh, yeah. Ah, excellent. There's just two small details bothering me. First of all, if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? Why wasn't it found at the crime scene? Oh. What happened to it? What happened to it? Um. Why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? I can't check my... it found at the crime scene what happened to it yeah it was hidden but where why wasn't it found oh it was in the headpiece that's right that piece of fabric and concealed that's right moocher that's right then he fled the crime scene to hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp ah well that's my problem if Remington fired his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank? A man of his experience? I don't think so. In fact, the answer to that question is the very last link in our chain. The one thing that has eluded me so far. I'll drag the clue items from the left onto my drawing here, and we'll see what happens when we compare the pieces I collected with the original design I found. Hello, I am the murderer. Head. Feet. Hands. So this... Wait! You never found the body piece. The torso. That must have been like armor. You're right. And I never would have found it. Not lying around. Not like the others. But what does this have to do with the murderer surviving the rifle shot? This torso is probably made out of some thick material. Something covering the culprit's entire upper body. I believe it may have even been enough to so soften... soften the impact from a bullet. Aha! Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? How? We looked everywhere. Not a single clue. Simple. He's still wearing it. did it i don't know what you want with me sounds like you two are smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp and lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you you worked it out he had this rifle on him he got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation but why would he do that you were you were dressed as buggy he shouldn't be pointing his gun at a unique scientific specimen not to mention his main attraction you're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret.
hunting photo leads me to believe Echo was boggy in disguise. Uh, no. Not unless you're in on the secret. The hunting photo leads me to believe Echo was here to hunt Boggy. Ooh, that's nearly right. The hunting photo there leads we go. me to believe Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. <laughs> the final, final, final chapter! A secret society, an order of hunters, seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man, and much further than this one swamp. The whole thing is kind of distressing. I knew something was wrong as soon as I stepped into that office. I'm glad you've finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? He made Boggy his own personal project, his own obsession. For years he hunted the creature, the potential perfect addition to his collection. But he owned the tourist attraction. He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since the area became protected, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy's Barn was just a front for his own little game. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not even exist. And that's why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Now, don't you see? I did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. You wanted everyone to think he was some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, they'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Everyone would finally realize they had no business here. How can you know what Boggy wanted? He might not be what you... Your... Detective. Your... You. It's... I... It's finished. Now don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. You have another job to do. I... I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like what? you. But I never intended to kill him. Just to scare him. Convince him. Foggy wasn't going to let him live here in peace any longer. But, true to form... He had his rifle on him. You worked out the rest yourself. It... it makes a difference. Well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down the... <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Boggy looks sad. I love this music. Aaron Hansen as who? That's one of the game grumps. Everything he knew. A number of rumors. 
orders going around the department have been confirmed. And Remington's office? Searched down to the last detail. And well, we agree with you. What? I know what you're thinking. I'd love to put an end to it, just the same as you. But there's always... Are we going after them? We better be. Huh. So, is there, is the second one out? Oh, Aaron was Agent Folder. Okay, so Neckbeard. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I recognize any of these other people. I don't think I do. Man, he's done a lot, actually. Uh, okay, so is the second one out? It was marked as finished in 2017, but it's not out. Okay. That was fun. I got Boggy's Fan Club, Nice Hat, Let's Get Started, Mystery for Tomorrow, and Haunt the Swamp. I didn't get any of these others. That was fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. So I'd like to pass along the raid. So let me see. It was a very good game. Let me see who is streaming. So there is a new Nancy Drew streamer who is... Uh, who just went live, uh, Doom Indie Craze fan. I think I'd like to pass along... Oh, successfully. You're, oh, you're welcome very much, Riddy. Um, but I'd like to pass along the, 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 uh, um, raid and host to Doom Indie Craze fan. So I'm gonna do that. I'll get that ready. And I'll go over there for a minute. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I had a wonderful time. Um, I'm just going to chill out now for the rest of my day. So, oh, I do need to make an announcement that I will unfortunately need to cancel my stream for tomorrow. I was planning to stream some Nancy Drew tomorrow and some work stuff came up and I'm going to have to stay at work until at least 5, maybe later. I will be planning to rabbit a goofy movie tomorrow night at 7 EST in my rabbit room. Um, however, I'm going to have to cancel my stream tomorrow. Now, there is a possibility that I could come back and stream tonight. Uh, it just depends on if I've got some energy tonight after I get some stuff done around the house. Uh, so I may possibly play some Nancy Drew tonight and do triple stream today. But if not, then I will see you guys on Wednesday for Wind Waker Wednesday. But please take care of yourself. Um, I really did enjoy Detective Grimoire. Thank you again, Tara, for gifting it to me. I really enjoyed that. Have a great rest of the day. Um, take care of yourselves, everybody, and I'll see you soon. I'm going to go ahead and hit this raid, and we'll, I'll see you over there in just a moment. Bye-bye.